What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news. Got some pretty good stuff going on that I'm very excited about, and some things that, I don't know, like, I think are really awesome, but at the same time, I think they kind of dropped the ball on it. I think that actually works with two different things that we're going to discuss here today. But if you guys were unaware, it was all over social media yesterday, so, you know, if you missed it, no big deal, but I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it, but I know a lot of you guys were hitting me up asking what my thoughts and opinions were on on these new figures that we saw yesterday, and I'm going to get into it right now, we have a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition figure, as well as a look at an upcoming Elite that a lot of people were excited about and asking about prior to today's video. So, should be interesting, man. Let's go ahead and dive in. So, coming to MattelCreations.com, and it should be, I think, this Friday, November 25th at noon Eastern through December 9th, there's going to be an open pre-order for a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition Logan Paul exclusive action figure. Yes, a Mattel Creations exclusive. You guys know that we do have the Ultimate Edition Cody coming in about a year's time, maybe. Sound like damn DBZ with the androids. But a Logan Paul Ultimate Edition figure, man. Now, I'm gonna be completely real with you here. When it was announced that Logan Paul was coming to WWE, you guys know how I feel. I do not like celebrities in my wrestling, and I still don't like celebrities in my wrestling. And I know Bad Bunny did a fantastic job. Logan Paul has looked excellent in the ring. There's no doubt about it. He is a natural athlete. I knew that coming in before he even stepped in the ring. I've seen him. He's a great athlete. He has a great athletic background. So I figured that he would be able to get the job done. It's nothing against him. It's nothing against anybody that has an athletic background that comes into wrestling. I think it's more of just, I just don't like celebrities in my wrestling. It kind of reminds me of celebrity boxing. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like a gimmick and it kind of takes the seriousness out of the sport. And obviously wrestling's not real, but you meet wrestling halfway, right? You believe in these performers. They have an art that they're behind. And I don't know. It's just how I feel. Not saying that celebrities can't be great at wrestling. Logan Paul is, is a pretty damn good wrestler. He's way better than Dominic Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio's been in a wrestling ring since he was four years old. Maybe even younger. You know what I mean. His dad is Ray Effin Mysterio, and Logan Paul's a better wrestler than him, in my opinion. Now, back in the day, I used to despise Logan Paul, and I still am not the biggest fan of him, but he kind of has rebuilt his reputation. I actually enjoy his work. I think he's a funny dude, charismatic, very athletic guy. Pretty cool dude. You know, I'm not going to go out and buy all of his merch, but I still think he's a really cool dude dude, and I respect him coming into the ring and what he has done with WWE so far. Now, do I want him in main matchups and do I want him in WWE? Absolutely not, but you know, sometimes you just gotta deal with these things, and he's looked good in his role, so what can I say? All that to say, we're getting an Ultimate Edition action figure of the guy, and I think the figure is kind of lifeless. Is it kind of a lifeless figure? I think you got some really excellent stuff going on with the figure, but at the same time, man, I just feel like this looks kind of rushed. I love the jacket. I think that the head sculpts are kind of Eh, especially the one that's on the figure. I know it's kind of a render, but it still doesn't look that great. You know, he kind of has like that half asleep look to it. He's got the headband on there. You got the yelling expression. You got the tongue out expression. It does look like they're using the Jeff Hardy slash AJ Styles torso, which I think they could have gotten away with using the new Rick Rude torso if they wanted to. I don't know if he's nearly as cut as he was when he was boxing, but I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. I think it still gets the job done. I like the hoodie jacket. His gear is not the most exciting. It's kind of plain Jane when he came out with it. I thought it was kind of plain Jane. You just have your yellow and black. It says Logan Paul or Paul down the side. There's no like sculpted detail on these tights. It's just painted tights. So the figure looks super flat. So I guess a lot of the money is just going into that jacket. He is going to come with his Charizard necklace there. It doesn't have Charizard in there. Maybe you can get a decal, put that into the necklace. You know, the diamond studded plated, you know, necklace thing there. And maybe we can get like a Charizard graphic to put a decal in there. So it actually looks like there's a Charizard Pokemon card in there. I think that would be cool. You get the sunglasses. I like all the sculpted detail in the sleeves and the jacket. But I don't know. I just feel like this figure kind of looks a little bit lifeless. It's just uh, the, the tights are the main thing. It's like completely flat. There's no sculpted detail on the crotch. There's no... And I know that there's not a lot of sculpted detail on the tights themselves. It's all paint deco. But, you know, maybe like the Buddy Murphy style crotch with like some sculpted stuff on there. Or I don't know. It just looks a bit flat. But I don't know. I think it'll still be a good figure. You know, we got to see some of what the packaging is going to look like. I think the packaging looks great with yellow and black. You got Logan Paul in there, Ultimate Edition. I mean, it's honestly kind of insane that we're getting this figure. And I'm excited to see what the figure looks like when it comes to full fruition. I'm sure it'll look a lot better, but these were just my initial thoughts when I saw it. But at the same time, you know, I think it's pretty cool that he's getting a figure. I mean, when he came out, I figured we would get a figure. And now it is coming to fruition. Parts choices are kind of... And you know, he didn't wear wrist tape. He didn't wear any sleeves or anything.
anything like that, so I get why he's kind of playing Jane on the arms and stuff. I don't know. I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I was never a big Logan Paul fan. I always thought that he was kind of a tool. And then, like I said, he did kind of rebuild his rep. And, you know, he he's funny. I, 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 I've seen some clips from his podcast, things like that. I think he'd be a pretty cool and chill dude to hang out with. These are just my thoughts. I'm trying to get all of my thoughts out there. But outside of the Ultimate Edition Logan Paul figure, though, we in the video package of this Logan Paul figure being shown off. Now, I do believe this is on MattelCreations.com, like the actual video, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't find anything else. But in the background, people were talking about Elite 99 Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins being shown off. Now, we do have some up-close personal images of Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle. Now, you gotta make out a few of the different details here. Matt Riddle, he, got, he has a cloth shirt on. It's kind of a repaint of his last Elite, but he does have his red wrestling gear on with the gold and black details. He's got the same head sculpt. It'll be a pretty good figure. His Matt Riddle's figures are pretty solid. He's got the Hey Randy shirt on there. That'll be kind of cool. Posed around with Randy Orton right there. But if you look at the Seth Rollins figure, man, this figure looks pretty insane, but at the same time, it looks like it's going to suck. And really, the parts that suck do not outweigh the parts that look great, because I think the molds that you're getting on this Seth Rollins look fantastic. There's just one big gripe that I have with this Seth Rollins figure, and it's going to be this head sculpt. I'll get into the head sculpt at the end. They are going with his SummerSlam 2021 gear. He's got a cloth jacket. It is in the black, gold, and white. And if you guys don't know what that, that attire looks like up close, I will put figure images up there to compare it there. And I think the figure does look really, really good. He's going to have double jointed arms. That jacket is absolutely insane. They could You could use that on a plethora of different figures for entrance gear and things like that. I like the sculpted detail that it looks like we're getting on the kick pads. I like the shiny gold that we're getting. I think that this figure is actually going to look pretty damn good. It's just going to need a head swap. And you want to know why it needs a head swap? Because they put the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head sculpt on this thing. That is absolutely insane. First of all, he did not have that haircut. And I'm sure it's just Elite 45 Rollins with TrueFX technology put on top of it. But this, this series is, Elite 45 is 54 series from Elite 99. That means that I want to say, I, I remember where I was when they re re revealed Elite Series 45, because I remember where I was when they revealed that Elite 45 Rollins and like it going up pre-order or whatever the case was. I can't remember if it went up for pre-order, if it was in stock or what the case was, but I remember them showing it off. I want to say that was either 2015 or 2016, like early 2016 or late 2015, may have been in the middle of 2015, I I do believe. And that is just asinine that it is seven years later and it'll be eight years later when this figure finally comes out. I don't think we'll have Elite 99 in hand until 2023. So it would be eight years since that head sculpt was first created and they're bringing it back here for Elite 99. I don't know how that makes sense. I don't know how they, that's even possible. I mean, honestly, guys, they could have thrown in the Battle Pack head sculpt that came in that Drew McIntyre Seth Rollins head sculpt. You know, the, the it's basically the Elite. You know, it's the smirking head sculpt from the Top Talents way back when, but they gave him the man bun. They could have reused the Elite 93. They could have used the Elite 93 face and just put a different hair piece on it or something. Because his hair sculpt is not like this. This is his hair where it's kind of shaved on the side and then he has the long look to it. It'll still be a very damn good figure. It already looks fantastic with the gold foil and the sculpting and the stuff that we're getting right here. Not my favorite gear that he's ever worn to be honest with you. But it is a cool gear and it's a solid gear and I think it'll look good when it comes to fruition. I just can't believe they used the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head sculpt. That's really what kind of blew my mind right there. But the jacket is fantastic. I think from the neck down, it'll be really good. I just think we're going to have to head swap it. And we can always put different head sculpts and things like that on there to try and fix it. But that is the news, man. That's exactly what I wanted to get on here and talk about here today. Because I had to get on here and talk about it. Ultimate Edition Logan Paul. I'm interested to see what the figure looks like when it's finally here. Similar to the Cody Rhodes, you know. Nonetheless, man, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up this news video. I would love to know what you guys are thinking about Logan Paul's Ultimate Edition. Edition. What do you feel about the Elite 99 Rollins? I would love to know all of your stuff down in the comments section below. But have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys did enjoy. So thankful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for all the continued support. All the people that watch the videos, check out the videos, or are a fan of the channel. Leave comments, like the videos. You guys are the real MVPs, and I'm so thankful for you guys. I hope you guys have very blessed Thanksgivings. Enjoy your food. Enjoy time with your family. Whether you have 100 relatives coming over, you have one, or you're all by yourself, man, know that I appreciate you. You're a part of my family family, and I hope you guys have a very blessed holiday and a blessed day, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me your thoughts down below. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and happy Thanksgiving. You cry.